right, you can't stop me. I'm gonna keep talking about the clock. So, in case you haven't watched uh, the Monday and Tuesday videos, I got a paper clock set. It's pretty cool. Um, I guess it's not even really a set so much as... I, I keep forgetting the right words to really say this with. Because um, it's not a kit or anything. By that I mean it's not like self-contained. Like, I have to get, um... God, self-contained isn't even the right words to say it. I, uh, had to buy, like, wire and, um, other things to go into it to make it work. But, uh, all of the paper parts are there, you know. Um, actually, really funny thing. I just counted out, let's see, it was 92 pennies and 17 nickels to act as the weight uh, 92 pennies and 17 nickels is about 11 ounces or so, which is between 20, between 10 and 12, which is just the right weight. Oh boy, great! Another one where I have to find a, a Riddler thingy. Please tell me this isn't gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up, isn't it? I knew it. I'm surprised that didn't happen sooner. In all honesty, because I literally. I knew it was going to blow up and everything, and I still just sat there. That took quite a bit of health away. Anyways, I, um... It's, uh... It's been going well. It's been going better than I thought, because I also talked a little bit about how I thought I was just going to end up using it as a mechanical sculpture, because it probably wasn't going to work very well. And then I realized I was actually running it in reverse. Like, I was spinning the wheels backwards, so all the gears were meshing against the wrong surfaces, and, you know, uh, I hate to bore everybody with boring mechanical details that I find fascinating, but that actually makes some of the gears not work very well. <laughs> um, wasn't this the first room I came into? God, I forgot about this guy. Dead end, huh? Um, well, I'm going the wrong way anyways, whatever. So, the thing actually works pretty darn well, and I'm proud of that. Did I just hear some chattering teeth, or am I going insane? Do I even have chattering teeth here? Unfortunately, yes, I have four more. That's great. This is going to be another massive area for me to walk through like an idiot looking for chattering teeth. Whatever. I'll figure it out. Probably. Um, I hope. But, yeah. I, uh... Really, how do I miss these? <laughs> I don't know how I do it, guys. It should work. It should actually keep time, and it should do it pretty well. I had to kind of cut down some of the sides of the gears. I guess I should explain the teeth thing that I said earlier. So, the... Since I was running the gears in reverse, some of the ones that are supposed to be driven instead of driving gears were reversed. So they were driving instead of being driven. And that doesn't really work very well for, like, pinions. Can you defeat a mine such as mine? Probably, if you'd shut up. Give me some freaking thinking space, my friend. Jeez, I bet I'm not... How about I hack into your comms, pal? Yeah, just kidding. You don't have any friends. Lol, loser! Um... Right around here, huh? So not all sides can be seen, they said. Yeah. I would have expected one of the perspective puzzles, in all honesty, but uh, maybe it was something else. I mean, it's not like I can just, like, look at the wall and be like, oh, well, yeah, never mind, it is a perspective puzzle. Glass. Um... Oh, yeah, okay, I see it. Wow, check this shit out, guys. I mean, poop. Oh, come on. The solution's perfectly aligned. Check that out, man. It's just an especially large dot. Wow, that actually worked. 
I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting that to work. Ah, well there goes my padding for time. Um, but, uh, the, so I guess I should explain pinions. Just look up pinion. I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of like a shaft, but it's got teeth. Like, a really long gear, lengthwise. Like, um, I'm really not doing any of this justice. <laughs> Is there a hole in the wall somewhere? Yeah, so much for being able to get through here. I pity you trying to defeat my challenges. Oh, shut up, dude. Um, but, yeah. Apparently, those are, uh, not driving and instead driven. So I was being silly and dumb and trying to drive like a massive hundred tooth motor wheel with a tiny pinion. And instead it's supposed to go the other way around. So you know what? My clock's actually working really well. Um, I appreciate that. Is it now? I gotta say, um, when it's obvious like that, you make it real easy. <laughs> So, yeah. I actually feel like I might be able to get through intensive treatment pretty quick. Because, I mean, it's not terrible, and this is one of the ones where it was the, uh, the first place I really came into. So, a lot of it will just be, do you have the right fancy schmancy tools this time around? Like these two that are literally just opening doors with the crypto sequencer. Yoink. Can't you tell me how these got in my office? So who are you? I brought them there. Why? You don't like flowers? I think the guards would be interested to know you've been out of yourself. Oh, if you really were going to tell, you already would. How do you know I haven't already? Oh, sweet. I like you. I really do. Even your name. Rework it a bit and we get... Harley Quinn, like the clown. I know. I've heard it before. It's a name that puts a smile on my face. It makes me think there's someone here I can relate to. Someone who might like to hear my secrets. Really? Go on. Not here, my dear. Too many ears and eyes. Come back tonight. I'll be ready for you. What a creeper. He's crazy. God, I bet he <clears throat> dresses up a bat in that. Dresses up a bat. It'd be pretty funny, actually, to see the Joker dress up a bat. But, you know, that wasn't quite what I was going for there. I mean, he runs around town and whatever. We already know the joke I was going to make. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, where, oh where, can my Riddler trophy be? It's somewhere around here. I can smell it. I think. Or maybe that's something else. Is that a breakable wall I see? It really is all this stuff where it's just like, Oh, you know, you should have come and done this right after you found the stuff. 
Cause isn't isn't this like the the first shaft we climbed? Like how your mother climbed. Anyways, when the when when the when me when when the anyways. Hey guys, look, I'm still doing it. You're gonna get the chair. I should probably just go back to talking about that clock. I'm sure the mechanical talk is much more appreciated than this. Whatever this is. Is it up there, perhaps? Sometimes I don't know if I'm looking for, uh, like, uh, a trophy on the ground or, like, tape. Or maybe I'm actually looking for something I've got to point my camera at. Uh, this place makes that especially difficult because I don't know which level it's supposed to be on either. Like, I could have just fallen straight past it. That is entirely possible. It'd be uh, a darn shame if that were the case, because it would be really hard for me to find. Now, why in the heck would that be? Uh, I mean, I guess security guards kind of open carry. I suppose. Well, whatever. Yeah, I guess it is a medical facility. Never mind. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Batman. Let's talk about Batman and not whatever I was thinking of earlier. Please tell me I can get up somewhere over there. Please tell me that what I have to look at is this great. Nope. Darn shame, I tell ya. I've been watching a lot of King of the Hill uh, lately because I live in Texas. And Texas is cool and good. And, um... Boy, is that a fun show. I really should just keep talking about the clock, huh? So, it, um, it's been running pretty good. I haven't actually got it to run, you know, because I don't have a weight or a pendulum yet. Um, but when I, like, put stress on the motor wheel, and that uh, actuates all the gears, it works pretty well. I even get the ticking noise out of it, which is pretty cool. It'd be really nice if uh, the game told me which layer... I was supposed to be on, you know? That would be cool and groovy. I would especially like that. Yep. But instead, no, I gotta walk around like a... Okay, there it is, a breakable wall. Who could have seen this coming? I could have sworn I seen it last, uh, last time and everything. Or earlier, at least. Oh boy, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was just gonna blow that up in my face. Hey, look, a chronicle! More reason for me to not talk. Great. Unless there's something in here. It connects up or something? Nope. I do like that there's a, a nice little mushroomy cave in there, though. Pretty cool. It must have... It must have been Crane, another one who doesn't deserve to live. Why do these people thrive on chaos? Joker, in particular, desired anarchy. And since his escape will no doubt wreak it upon my city, I feel this is the end for my diary. Joker will be recaptured. My story will be told. I am not afraid. If Arkham becomes my cell, then I will know I did my best. I will be remembered. What a creep. Is that what I have to look at right there? No. Ah, please tell me I don't have to go all the way back up. Please tell me I don't have to go all the way back up the shaft. That's not cool. I'm not a big fan of going just up and down this shaft. What do you think I am? Your mother? Anyways. Hopefully it's down here. Whatever I'm supposed to take a nice little look at. 
I'd imagine it's probably in this room right here. How do I miss some of this stuff? How do I do it, folks? Yeah, it's probably got to do something with all these pictures of Bane on the wall. Maybe. Maybe not. It'd be really nice if it did. I'll be honest with you, it'd be really, really cool. Uh, fine. This is Croc, actually. This isn't Bane. Come on. Fine. Sheesh. Well, where the heck am I supposed to find this thing? Maybe right here. It looks kind of like one of them Chronicles of Arkin, don't it? Except without the Chronicle part. Anybody else kind of hear spray paint? No? Just me? Oh. Oh, that's pretty interesting how they kind of follow you around like that. Wow. I gotta say, school's been out um, not that long, and I'm already extremely boring. <laughs> Uh, feels bad, man. Feels Batman, uh, must say. I was watching... Let's see, what was I watching? I was watching a review of the Lego Batman movie, which is, you know, a really good film. It really is. It's a great film. Is it this? No. I don't know why I thought that was a snow globe. Well, it's round and shiny. It looks kind of like a snow globe, so maybe. It would have been the kind of thing that I would have to take a picture of if it were here, but it wasn't, so I didn't. Anyways. Seriously, how do I miss these things? Well, this one I couldn't have gotten without the back claw anyways. I wonder if I can jump this. Come on, bats! There you go. This doesn't even go anywhere! Completely useless vent. Seriously. What is this? It just makes the room bigger and harder to actually properly... Anyways. <laughs> I know very much about a lot of boring things. <laughs> oh boy. Top Hat and Tails is the only... Great. Aha! Please tell me there are all four right here. Please tell me there's more than two. Just one more. Come on, guys. Just throw the tooth at me. Like a book. Teeth open kind of like a book. A little bit. And some people read them. Like, uh, dentists. So, really, that analogous isn't, uh, really weird and creepy or anything like that. As a matter of fact. Uh-huh. What was that clue supposed to be again? What's that, uh... What's that clue in here, huh? Top Hat and Tails is the only dress code for this party in the... Oh, shut up, dude. I didn't need to hear you say it. Come on, man. Top Hat and Tails sounds a lot like Gentleman Ghost. Everybody's favorite Batman villain, Gentleman Ghost. Also, are these... Are these new? Were these here the whole time? Have these pictures of Warden Sharp been here the entire time, or are they new? I would love to know that, because I feel like I would have noticed them before. But, you know, maybe I just wasn't paying that much attention to this guy until just now. Fully possible. Could, in fact, be the case. Um, I don't know why I was looking around like I don't literally have a map of where these things are. Hey, look, I literally just walk in here and boom, it's another thing for me to look at. Probably. A wheelchair! Or not. Hmm. Oh, well, yeah. That, uh, that makes sense. Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot. Probably could have seen that one coming. But, you know, who am I to judge the man? You know, I guess this really was his cell, since he was able to just kind of, like, walk right out. <laughs> uh, yeah, it probably wasn't a cell. I'm a really interesting guy, I swear. 
You know what? I'm gonna get this last one and leave the rest of it for next time. I said I was. I said invasive treatment was gonna be a two-parter. Uh, I'm gonna stick by that because, in all honesty, this is kind of driving me insane. I can't do it, guys. I really can't. Can I get in here? No. Well, it seems odd that I can climb up there without being able to do anything. Come on now. Where are you? Hey, there it is. Boink. Who could have seen this coming? Another thing that I just needed one of them fancy schmancy tools for. And... Hey, wow. Okay. I am the spirit of Amadeus Arco. Even though Amadeus had long since passed, his spirit lived on, surviving, moving through the walls of his asylum. When he chose me, I felt proud. I was honored to continue his work, to cleanse this city. If you are strong-willed enough to follow my tale, you are strong-minded enough to deduce my identity. Come and find me, friend. Together, we will save Gotham. Oh, there's literally a trophy right in here. Um, well, I guess... <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, he looks a bit like somebody... The story has weaved through time and ended on an individual who must still be alive and working here on Arkham Island. I need to figure out who it is and confront them before they can do any more harm. You know who it sounds a lot like? It sounds quite a bit like, um, the Warden. So, I guess we'll be going and seeing the Warden. Is he here? I forget where he is. This is intensive treatment. I forget where he is. I feel like he should be here, but I don't remember. Let's just, you know what, okay. For now, I'm gonna go see, get these last two that are in this area just so that it'll actually save the game. And then I'll be donezo for today. Or I could just have a really long episode. It's an extra, so it doesn't matter. What a bunch of whack jobs. Can't believe she got a job here. Well, whatever. You know what? Um, I know I literally just said... Okay, cool. A rat. Where's rat catcher when you need him? I know I literally just said I was going to leave, but you know what? I'll just finish off intensive treatment. Maxi Zeus? Zeus! Let's just finish it off. I've got plenty more stuff to talk about my paper clock, you know? I really am surprised how well it's going. A lot of this stuff, uh, it makes me feel nice and nice and swell and all that jazz. Do you need my help, Batman? Do, no, I don't need your help. Shut up, literally. Just stop talking. Uh, hey, that looks like something I can pull down. Yoink. See? Eddie, boy. You don't gotta tell me nothing. I'm Sheesh. Patience. You're cheating. You must be. Ha. -ha. <laughs> we 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 pulled his IP. <laughs> we doxed him to the police department. <laughs> Based Batman swatting the the soy boy Riddler. <laughs> uh, remember not to swat people, fellas. It's not very cool or groovy. Um, well, there's my PSA. Anyways. How do I miss these things? 
I really just didn't have the freaking goggles on when I came through here the first time. Why am I being quiet? Is there a noise sensor in here or something that's gonna shock me to death? Shocking, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I think the the first time I heard that one. They got the Zodiac Killer in Batman? I didn't know they put Ted Cruz in this game. Yeah, I know. That one was impossible to solve. How did you do it? I broke through the wall. I'm not gonna lie, that's literally all it took. Hey, 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 hold on. That's for another episode, come on. We're gonna be doing all the lore later. I'm not gonna let you read the character bio. Oh, well, that's not good. I suppose we're taking the long way out yet again. Wonderful. Why did I just slow down there? I think this direction, yeah, perfect. It's honestly kind of funny that this guy, literally named Zeus, just goes, you know what, I'll dress like Zeus. Now I'm a crime boss. I go by Zeus. Guess what my powers are? Exactly like the Greek god. Who could have seen that coming? You know? Pretty interesting how all this kind of panned out this way. We're going down here. It would be really cool if I could remember actually where I'm going without it just being like, oh, I know. How much you want to bet? It's literally just... Boink. Actually, yeah. Why were those off? Oh. Hold on, it's just in one of these cells from the beginning of the game. What are you laughing about, dude? Alright, which wall do I break? Or not, it's the other one. I uh, should have known. I really feel like this was something I could have just gotten at the start of the game. Whatever. What? You did it? You must have cheated. There is no way you could have beaten me. Well, you Face facts, pals. My final challenge for the whole of Gotham is just seconds away. What? Get freaked, loser. You broke into my comms, pal, so I swatted your house. I can't wait. <laughs> ah, loser, L. Typical Riddler L. I pulled your IP, dickhead. We did it, guys! We swatted the Riddler! <laughs> uh, good times, good times, really. Uh, anyways, that's gonna be all for now. And I suppose the next episode will be a fun little um, lore episode. I still gotta find out where the warden is, actually. I don't remember where he is. I don't remember where they're keeping the warden. He's probably in... Um, because uh, he's he's right next to Clayface, so I'd imagine he's sitting around in um high security, you know. But uh, I don't think that's actually one of the names of the buildings, so I'm gonna have to figure out where that is. I seriously don't remember. We'll find it, and then we'll be doing challenges and lore and all that. I guess next will be the lore episode, and then will be challenges. And then I'll move on to the next game. Which, I feel almost a little bit bad that I've actually basically just been doing, like, massive anthologies. <laughs> like, uh, let's see here. Cas uh, Monday, Castlevania. I've been playing, uh, like, 20 million Castlevania games. Tuesday, Deponia. Well, there's three different Deponia games. Wednesday, Batman. Um, and you know what? After this game, I've got two more Arkham games to play. And if I really, really, really didn't like myself, maybe I'd buy Arkham Knights. Um, and then Thursday, Filament. Okay, Filament's fine. Filament doesn't have a sequel. It's gonna take a while, but it's fine. And Friday, 
is Yakuza 0, which I'm not going to play the rest of the Yakuza games, probably, because I don't have them. But it's a possibility. <laughs> I should leave that open. If you want to give me enough money, not that I have any, like, money-giving stuff set up for me to get the rest of the Yakuza games, maybe I'll play them on Fridays. What's more likely is that I, um, having... I'm just going to admit this openly, and I might or might not actually do this. I got uh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5 Remix um, a little while ago. A little while ago. Dear God. A little while back, it was on sale on Epic Games for like 20 bucks. So I got the game. In all honesty, I kind of just want to play it for myself. But I could play it for the channel. So you know what? I'll probably do both. Um, I'm not going to lie. And, uh, oh boy, that's not good. Get off of here. See, it blew up and everything. I knew that wasn't going to be good. Please tell me I can actually get through this door. I don't know if this is the case or not. This, no, it's locked. Dang it. The doors really should all just open up. Come on. Why do things have to be inconvenient for me when they can instead be convenient for me? Truly an injustice in this world. Oh well. So... God, what was I talking about? I really gotta get better at this whole, uh, You know... Talking... About something cohesively for an extended period of time thing. I've really gotta work that out. How to do that. Maybe I'll figure that out by the next episode of Batman Arkham Asylum, in which we're going to talk to good old Sharpie, Sharpie Man, and we're gonna, we're gonna, um, you know, I guess he'd be in the penitentiary. Yeah, that looks about right. Well, let's get over there then, on the next episode of Batman Arkham Asylum. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm going to lock you up. You're going to be locked up. I'm going to declare you insane, and you'll be locked up. Have everything taken from you. What do you mean I can't get through here? Ugh. Maybe, maybe I'm the crazy one. Whatever. Welcome to West. Let's just get to the pent on the next episode. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe. Or I'll beat you up. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.